Um, uh, we're going to bring up Joe Radigan from the Lo uh, Long Beach Catholic, speaking of history, celebrating his 60th year in Long Beach. Let's give it up for Joe Radigan. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's bring him up. Joe, this really is a special year. Talk about um, what a special time this is for Long Beach Catholic, celebrating 60 years in Long Beach. Oh, it's a wonderful place. 60 years of, of Catholic education started about 1954, September 1954. School opened with 588 students and about 12 teachers, so you have to figure that out, how many kids were in each class. And it's been successful all these years, you know, and continues to be successful, having a little bit less than 500 now. So we're really excited about this uh, 60th anniversary coming up. Any uh, special plans to celebrate the 60th? I don't know. What, could you know of any yet? I don't know of any. Yeah. No, but it's something, it's something yeah. that. that well, I suspect in the past, in the when we, whenever we had, in the whenever fall. we had a party, we it usually went on for a while. And when I, I worked there for about 12 years, and I'm retired now. But certainly, whenever the when we, at the 50th anniversary, it went on for weeks. <laughs> Chris, you want to ask? Uh, uh, Chris can ask um, Joe uh, Joe a question. When did you first become interested in the history of the school, and why do you think that it's very important that we th uh, know of our history. When I did the history of the parish, we realized that the pastor of the parish was very, it was very important to him to open the school back in the 50s. He realized that there was no Catholic school on the island, and he had come from Brooklyn where there was a Catholic school about every three blocks. You know, so, and it was important to him that this, this presence be there. He's tried for years, and World War II got in the way, and all these things. His idea was to open up a regional school, bring in all the three parishes in, and uh, I was interested in his reasoning in a lot. Of, you know. And Joe, i got to ask you a personal question. Mm -hmm. You've known the Murdys. How does it make you feel knowing that this young man went to Long Beach Catholic, is going, got into one of the finest schools in the tri-state area, Regis High School, and is doing a history segment on a Long Beach radio show? Uh -huh. It's really exciting. Exciting, too, that he is the last of the Murdy family to go at this, at this point to uh, uh, the Catholic, Catholic school. His mom and dad was there. His cousins did excel there, as, his, as did his brothers. So uh, it's just exciting to see him come back and to understand the history and go through it. All right, final question. What's your favorite memory uh, event that stands out in your, all your time at Long Beach Catholic? Oh. Uh, I don't know whether Fraber could be the word, but I'm thinking about uh, when we uh, commemorated 9-11. Mm -hmm. uh, just a tough night, a right? tough night there. Next couple of days, a couple of the fathers were killed. One was rescued and, and came back, and he came to visit us many times after that. That night and the following day, when, we, when the school got together as a group, I had just started teaching there at the time, and it was just so... Powerful, powerful and old one. All right, let's give it up for Joe Radigan. That was great. And uh, by the way, um, like it says on the back, gone too soon. Um, again, let me remind you that uh, Jeff Singer will be here at the Long Beach Historical Society Wednesday night from seven to nine. And this uh, a special 9/11 tribute uh, will be part of what he'll be. Uh, signing and the second edition of Reflections, which has all the stories from the first edition and about 60 additional stories. Uh, when you walk that boardwalk during the spring and summer um, and you see those benches, they're all captured in story and you want to get the copies of these books, they'll be right here Wednesday at the Long Beach Historical from 7 to 9 p.m. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we have uh, a great musical group coming up. Uh, they're coming up. Um, at um, after the break at 7:30, um, bailout 42. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. All right. All right. We're gonna take a break. Coming to you live from the Long Beach Historical Society. I am Halftime Howie. This is broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Howie on Long Island's first and oldest radio station, AM 1240, WGBB.